Hello and welcome back to Space Engineers. My name is Rabenschild. Today we have some things to discuss. You saw or a lot of you saw my video that my graphics card broke and I have a new one now. But at the moment I'm a bit paranoid with that. The last time my old um, yeah, my old card died was in Space Engineers. I don't know, left it to run and then it just died on me. I don't know why, <laughs> but I'm a bit paranoid what that, yeah, what, what, when Space Engineers is involved at the moment. So I made some research and I will show you that. So here you can see my statistics. I have the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 960 now. Um, stuff is working out. Everything's nice. One thing I noticed, and I noticed that the last time too, is that my GPU load is very high. I took a look at the, at the forum, at the Keen Software House forum, and I found that other people have the same problem. You will say 53% is not too high at the moment, but when we do this and go back to the ship and just stand close to the ship. Let me do that again. Oh, we will see that the GPU load even when I'm in the main menu is 98, 99 more percent. And I don't know why that's the case. I left the planets, I went into free space and I brought the whole game down to, I don't know, down to, uh, <laughs> no, the fun thing is you can, you will not be able to hear that. I am able to hear that, that the GPU temperature is rising. And you see that 68, 67, it's, it's doing stuff there. I don't know if that's the case since the last update. I think it is the case for a few updates now. And I don't know why this is happening. I brought in the card. I even, I also got a new CPU cooler and it, it works out very, very nice. I brought the card back. I <laughs> put it in my computer. I started up multiple games and all my games were happy to accept new settings. Fallout 4 said, yes, you can have everything now. Here, take the highest settings you will be able to get. And uh, Space Engineers doesn't do that. I know that. But Space Engineers is the most challenging game for my graphics card at the moment. Um, Fallout 4 goes into 99% territory sometimes too, but it doesn't always do that. For me, it does it always when I'm on planet, when I'm taking a look at, pl at planets, when I'm in a ship, when I'm near a base. It always goes up to 99% and heats the card up. I don't know what's up with that. Also, GTA 5, highest settings, works out fine, 60 FPS. That's, that wasn't able, I, I was not able to achieve that with my old card. Uh, that was uh, GTX 660. I even had a discussion uh, how I was able to run Space Engineers on the GTX 6, 660. Uh, was working out fine, but I don't know if that's still the case. None of these games go into or go always into 99% territory when it comes to GPU load. And I'm afraid that this is, don't know, it's like a car getting always uh, driven in in <laughs> driven in the highest I don't know in in low gears with <clears throat> with full throttle uh, revving it up like crazy you don't know six thousand I I don't know what the max specs there are you know the technical terms are I have the fear that this um, over time kind of 
damages the card. And I don't know why that's the case. I'm I'm doing something here that I normally don't like to do. I I'm not a big fan of being angry at the game or being angry at the developers, but I think there should be at the moment there should be optimizations happening that that are not happening. This is this is not a beast of a card. There are far better cards out there. But again, other games go and don't do that. And I'm I'm a bit angry about that. Why is this game so demanding? Or why is it why is it still so demanding? I don't understand that. I I don't know how to play the game when I have to fear that my card breaks. I don't know if if it does that, but it 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 revs up. You can hear that the that the that the cooling unit is doing its its best, and it is it is not the case with games that are far more demanding. And you can see that you see the background. The game is set to 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 nothing to to the the simplest to the simplest settings. Let me show that to you. Everything is on low, and the tropic filtering is off. I could disable damage effects also. I try to start it up in in DirectX 9. Maybe bring that to rest a bit. DirectX, uh, DirectX 9 doesn't work with the planets, and I don't understand it. I I I don't get it. Why is that the case? No anti-aliasing. Low everything. And this is the the demanding the 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 most demanding game I have. I I knew that that optimizations would happen and and all that stuff. I'm I'm happy about that. That that they they finally made it so that I can run the game with with a lot of frames and we can take a look at that too just to just to see that at the moment when I stare into nothingness I have 120 frames a second. You can see that. As soon as I go back to ships and all that stuff, it drops, 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 drops. It stays above, I, I think, 30 and all that stuff. But it should. It is on low. See, see that. Sometimes I don't even get 60 FPS. Now it works, it works its way up. That's, that's all fine and good. But... I don't know. I, I don't know what's what's up with it. People say maybe vertical sync helps. I, I'm I, I'm sure that helps in a way. So just to to keep it at sixty fps a second and all that stuff. I I don't know. I'm ninety at at least ninety at the moment. I, I don't know why that is the case. Why is this the most demanding game I have? When when other games when other games run fine with the same settings and with oh no with higher uh, with a lot more graphic settings and a lot more options and and give me the same FPS per second for for a lot less load. At least with that I might be able to play. I might be able to do something and. I'm I'm not a big fan of calling out developers or something like that but I think it is time to to optimize the game. I noticed that there is a that there is a difference. It could be problems with Nvidia cards. I have the feeling at least I I don't have a big scientific group uh, that I could say uh uh, where I could say here from 100 people with this, these and these cards all have the same problems. I noticed in the forum that people with, with AMD cards um, don't have the, the same problems. And one thing for the forum is having people post their problems and post, post pictures of, of their, their, uh, their hardware monitors and all that stuff. And, Playing that down is not a thing that works out. The the thing that would work out is, I don't know, letting the developers know that something is up there. 
I, I will try I will try to to do that over time giving giving feedback and saying hey this this is happening and you can see that everything else simulation speed everything is fine I have a lot of GPU mem memory and all that stuff it, it works out very very fine it's a good card it's an amazing card never had something better this game shouldn't be so demanding this game shouldn't be so demanding that it goes into into these loads when when nothing is happening nothing is happening even when i'm in the when i'm in the yeah when i'm in the main menu that <laughs> if i go into the main menu in fallout 4 there's nothing happening i know these are not really comparable comparable games but i want to keep playing space engineers and at the moment i'm i really fear that my card will just at one point just will give up again and i'm not willing to to lose another card so what i would like from you people is that you maybe help me yeah taking kind of taking a look what is what is up with that if you have space engineers and you are playing space engineers, let me know how it works out for you. If you have these hardware monitors, you saw, th saw that I'm using GPU Z. Um, if you, if you get this, this, take a look at it. Take a look at it and 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 tell me what what your specs are. What 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 you have. Leave a comment in my in my comment section and and tell me, I have these and these. <laughs> loads and let me know if you if you experience the same problem there there must be more people that that experience the same problem maybe let the developers know help me to let the developers know and let us let us see if if what's the case here what's what's happening there again i i don't feel that space engineers in the absolute lowest settings should be my most demanding game. I even turned out the the lights. You you see that that I turned out the lights. I tried to. I even reinstalled Space Engineers to to see what's what's up there and if 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 it's something don't know that that I messed up or or so that could still be the case. And I will try to to take a look at that and try to. Yeah, try to maybe fix that. So people, that that would be amazing if you would help me with that. If you would, yeah, come up and and tell me I have the same problem. I noticed that my GPU load is high too. If you want, post some stats or whatsoever, and uh, yeah, help me to spread around the video and maybe get some notice there or. Or, or help me out if you know something I don't know then if you have an idea where that could come from let me know that too good people sorry for not posting a build video or something like that but this thing took yeah one kind of the the last day to to figure out and see see what's up there and if I could change anything there and and all that stuff I hope you're okay with this. I needed to vent a moment and get that out. Good people. Um, in the next week, I will try to be back with build videos with usual content um, on Space Engineers. And I hope I see you in these videos then. See ya, guys. <laughs>